guys, Mikester here and welcome to Inside Gears. Today with me I have Captain of Legacy, Dave from Telstra. How's it going, Dave? I'm alright. Yeah, just as a little background to all you viewers, Legacy is currently Australia's best Gears of War 3 team. From memory, they have eight first place placings, I'm pretty sure, as well as one third place. Um, this includes two LAN events, with the remainder being online tournaments and leagues. In the current Cybergamer Invitational League, they are undefeated with seven wins, only dropping five maps out of a total of 35, 35. maps. Yep. So Dave, you're rated as one of the best players in the game, but like all, all people, you would have had to start as a noob somewhere along the lines. Tell us a bit more on how you started out in the game. Um, I used to play a lot of Halo with like some other players now, like Metapod and stuff like that, and they just introduced me to Gears of War, and, like I just played with them. Obviously like, they teach me how to be a noob, so like no malaying and no lancering and all that shit. I was like, I went along with it, and then... I got abused by a lot of people actually, no one really wanted me to play the game, but I, no, I just kept at it and kept playing it, and obviously you can see where I am now. So. Yeah, good. definitely. Uh, what was your first team in competitive, and which game would that be out of the Gear series? Um, the first game to play proper competitive is Legacy, like I've never really been on CG any other teams before. I played a lot of scrims on Gears 1 and Gears 2 with like Metapod and Qualm and stuff like that, but... Yeah, pretty much, like, my real first team is Legacy, so... Yeah, fair right enough, fair enough. Um, what do you think is your best attribute as a player, and why? Um, the fact that I can play any situation, like, I'm not just, like, one sort of role sort of player, I can just adapt really well, so, therefore, it doesn't really matter what spawn I get, I can just play whatever position I'm needed to, so I feel like... Betty. <laughs> yep, so you're a very versatile player. Um, what about your worst attribute as a player? Um, Dave has to think a bit here. I don't know what to say, like, maybe sniper? Can't snipe for shit. I can, I guess, sometimes, but I don't know, it's like cruise to it. The first and only time I've ever seen you with a sniper, you pulled off two back-to-back -back headshots. Yeah, but I don't pick it up. I don't really, I'm, I'm bad at things, but I don't know how to, like, say it. Okay, fair I'm enough. I'm bad at paying. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's I can't do that one either. Don't worry. Um, tell us a bit more about your game style. How would you explain it? You were just playing in the uh, Mercy Mondays one v one, winning, taking that out, beating X Five Mango. Um, so we do have a bit of footage regarding your gameplay. How would you explain it? Your game style. Uh, I was so really smart. I try not to put myself in a bad position because uh, it was like one v one. So I probably brain there a bit too much, but. I was able to camp my tits off at the end, just uh, getting some left triggers in there. I really play, like, just mostly to the advantage and try to always play advantage. I like, just smart. I don't really go for, like, smart little things and expect them to pull off, so I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, in intense tournament matches, such as tournament finals, ladder finals, stuff like that, what goes in your head? Does anything get to you? How do you stay calm? Uh, well, it's hard to say, because, like, we've been winning for so long now that I don't really feel the pressure anymore. Like, obviously, I used to, like, like first land, I did maybe a few first games. Um, for, like, first online round, I felt a bit of pressure. But now it's pretty comfortable. Like, I've been playing with the same guys for so long. It's, there's no real need to feel pressure. Maybe we like to go up against some um, new good team or something like that. might feel a bit of pressure for a little while. But I've felt a bit of pressure against XL5 for a while there, but, well, like, beat them a few times, and that pressure faded away, so... Yeah, definitely. Well, your team has been playing together for, I think, around at least two years now. Um, but nobody is perfect. Anything that you and all your team needs to work on? Yeah, we need to probably work on still a bit more consistency. Like, there's not too much to work on. I feel like our individual skill obviously can always be, like, improved on, stuff like that. A lot of simple mistakes. I think some of the other players need to, like, become a bit more versatile in some areas. It's, like, it's hard to play a spawn sometimes. I don't really want to single any players out or anything. But, um, no, nah, there's not really much to complain on, like, really, you know, complain about or anything for my team. Like, we won the last land 6-1, so, like, we just know that we always have to keep improving and we take everyone seriously, a lot of the top teams. So, I feel like we've got a good attitude at the moment, so I'm not really too worried. Yep, definitely. Um, what advice would you offer newcomers looking to try out Gears of War 3 competitive for the first time or maybe trying to come back into it or maybe even just swapping games and just trying out Gears of War competitive? 
Well, the stick at it, really. Like, I, I stuck at it, and I think I used to play by myself a lot in Gears 1, just host up some ranked Warzone, nine rounds. Bit of Cooney every here and there. Like, Good old nine like round Warzone. <laughs> yeah, I just kept playing. I just enjoyed it. I didn't really care about, like, losing or winning in that. Like, I just kept playing. And so, like, obviously, if you're enjoying it, then keep playing. If you're not, then maybe I guess find something else to do. Yeah, fair enough. Um, any... Anything you think uh, can be added into the system that we currently have to help benefit competitive gears? Well, not really. I'm pretty happy with like everything the way like the way the current system is, like all the rules and everything. I know a lot of people want like less maps, but like I'm pretty fifty fifty. I don't really care either way. Like I'll just play. But I'm happy with like eleven maps. I feel like eleven isn't even enough. But like, like I want to play the game. Want to like play more. But it just seems repetitive now. Like. Yeah, definitely. Really you, you you play them long enough, and everything seems repetitive. But um, any shout outs that you want to give? A shout out to Mango. <laughs> he always wants one. <laughs> <laughs> Mango always wants one. Uh, taking a little sneak peek, being with us in this uh party while we're recording this interview. But yeah, that's it for our first edition of Inside Gears. Thanks to all for watching. Thanks to Dave for coming with me for this very first interview. If you guys think we should do more of these, uh, simply post below. If so, who do you want to see get interviewed next? Are there any specific Rogue. questions that you want? Dave says Rogue, so we might be bringing Rogue up. Uh, remember to check out all the media from Gathery Competitive, OzZ, at our Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, which can all be found in the description below. Uh, Dave, any last words? Uh, Illy Mango. Okay. 10-9, Mango. 10-9. <laughs> okay, and with that, thanks for tuning in.